welcome to Gay Fairfax, the Capital Area's only weekly gay entertainment magazine sharing news, views, and pride. I'm Michelle Michaels. And I'm Dorothy Hirsch. Each week we feature events and personalities of interest to gay men and women in the Washington metropolitan area. On this week's edition of Gay Fairfax, we'll meet singer-songwriter Frank. We'll also... Dorothy, why do you have that silly grin on? Because I'm supposed to be introducing the second segment, Michelle. Oh, oops. Yeah, okay. I'm, uh, I'm trying something new. Oh no, not again, yeah. what? Pantomime. Pantomime, oh I, I see, not, I'm supposed to guess. <clears throat> okay, on this week's edition of Gay Fairfax, we'll have gay dentists. Uh, we'll have grinning women. Uh, all right, all right, it must be, you're thinking about what happened on your date last night. <sighs> Oh, no. All right. What is smile? Smile. Yes, it's an amazing acronym. This week on Amazing Acronyms, <laughs> we have the Sexual Minorities Youth Assistance League. Oh, Dorothy, where were they when we were in our youth? Uh, speak for yourself, Michelle. I'm in my prime. <laughs> That's what you call it, huh? Mm. Well, then you will appreciate our next segment, uh, Frank, who's a singer-songwriter, obviously in her prime. Frank. Frank. Frank, spelled with all those uh, Frank consonants, <laughs> P-H-R-A-N-C, Frank. Well, we'll see from this interview that Frank really lives up to her name. Her lyrics and her style are insightful. Dave Hughes caught up with her at the recent Creating Change conference. Hey, Frank, for, for anybody in our audience who may not be familiar with your work, as they should, uh, could you give us a quick personal bio or a quick history of Frank and what you've done so far. My name is Frank with a PH and a hard C and I'm your basic average all-American Jewish lesbian folk singer. Um, I have three albums out, my first being folk singer, uh, uh, there's another one I enjoy being a girl and my most recent release is called Positively Frank. They're all available on Island Records. Um, I write songs that tell stories, and I try, my songs are for everyone, and I try to really reach this diverse... Mm -hmm. Have you, uh, since you do address uh, a lot of the heterosexual crowd as well as the homosexual crowd, are there any times when you have encountered problems with that? On the other hand, are there any times when you've had really nice, warm moments happen? Through all the years that I've been doing this, um, I would say my neg the negative experiences that I've had, I could count on, on the fingers of one hand. I have had very, very few negative experiences. They have been very intense. Mm -hmm. I've been called every name in the book. Mm -hmm. um, you know, favorite one seems to always be faggot. Well, how, how, <laughs> uh, how accurate, yes. Um, and we there know is people who are negative or intelligent anyway, so you know. Right. Well, you know, of course, that's the worst thing you could ever call anyone. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, but... What happens a lot is uh, there seems to be a lot of confusion when I come on stage and when I perform I usually come out and I do one song and then I introduce myself as I've introduced myself to you today, Frank with a PH and a hard C, your basic average all-American Jewish lesbian folk singer. And what inevitably happens is people laugh. Mm -hmm. It breaks the ice. It lets them know that I know who I am, and I have a sense of humor about who I am. Um, and it relieves a lot of tension. And it enables me to start developing a relationship with an audience. Um, so uh, I have had, I've had to retaliate in different ways when I'm on stage. I have to kind of be quick on my feet. It's very, very hard to find. So, um, and my goal being um, to reach as many people as possible, my goal is to, I will probably put a record out on an independent label, or I will make the record myself and get independent. In the schools, uh, there were a lot of debates going on the, in the journalism classes and various classes. Debates school-wide, uh, lots of discussion was had, so the, the issue of smile and the issue of homosexuality was raised because of the ads, and we're thrilled about that. The high rate of suicide among gay youth is one reason the group feels Smile's presence is important in high schools, says Morrissey. We have not, to my knowledge, had a kid that was active in the group commit suicide. However, 
However, a lot of our kids come who have attempted suicide, and a lot of them are indeed suicidal when they come and throughout the time that they're at SMILE. It certainly is a risk that is well documented at this point. The figures, especially those from the Health and Human Service Department, most recently state that homosexual teens are two to three times more likely to attempt suicide than their heterosexual counterparts. Also, in addition to that, it looks like from some of the figures that approximately 30% of the teens that actually do commit suicide are gay-related suicides. It often is a, is, homosexuality is often um, a concern that, that uh, puts kids perhaps over the, over the edge along with some other teen concerns. Well, I think the main objective of the organization is to prevent the abuse neglect and self-hatred of lesbian and gay adolescents. Um, I think that in terms of that goal, uh, we serve a very important purpose because there are other organizations in the community designed to deal with youth issues, but they don't de deal with um, lesbian and gay issues specifically, and the uh, abuse that those individuals incur in the process of their development. The Sexual Minority Youth Assistance League provides its members with the support and a social outlet that is safe and affirming. Members learn that they are part of a strong and close-knit community. I don't know what I'd be doing right now with friends, um, social situations, because the, the group really opened up a lot of new areas for me, a lot of new friendships that I did not have before. So, for all I know, I'd be a bar clock. <laughs> For more information on the Sexual Minority Youth Assistance League, call 262-0221. For Gay Fairfax, this is Karen Brown reporting. It's a great group, Michelle. It's good to know that there's someone out there. It's hard enough being a teenager. You should know. Yeah, I was one once, but I'll never do that again. But being a teenager and discovering you're gay at the same time is a lot to, to carry. So it's good to know that those kids have a place they can go to and know that they're not alone. That, that's right, Dorothy. In fact, that's one of the purposes of this program. If you'd like to become involved with Gay Fairfax or with our sponsor organization, the Fairfax Lesbian and Gay Citizens Association, please give us a call today at our Gay Fairfax hotline. That number, Dorothy, sing it for us. Sing it? Sure, go ahead. I don't think so. The number is 703. <laughs> 3708028. Can you say that, Michelle? 703 3708028. Give us a call and we'll put you in touch with the right people. For Gay Fairfax, I'm Michelle Michaels. And I'm Dorothy Hirsch. Thank you for joining us and remember, keep the pride alive.